Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 25th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to talk about something known as the event bus. Alright then, so in the last tutorial we had a quick look at events and we emitted an event from this header component, this child component, up to the root component which was listening for that event. It reacted to that event by changing some data, the title, and then passed that updated title down as props to both the footer and the header component which then updated their templates with the new title. Now what we're essentially doing here is communicating from the header component to the footer component indirectly using this root component, okay? Now this seems a little over the top and there is an easier way around it. We can use what's known as an event bus. And this event bus is just a view instance. And this view instance can emit events and listen to events and react to them. So the idea is that we create this new event bus and import them into both of these components, right? Then we can communicate between them without the parent. And the way we do it is by emitting an event on the event bus in this component, then listening to that event on the event bus in this component. Therefore, we don't have to go through the root component. So I'm going to show you how we can do this in this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create this event bus. How do we do that? Well, like I said, it's just a view instance and we're going to create it in the main.js file. So let's give this a name. It's going to be a constant and we're going to call it bus and I'm going to set it equal to new view. And ta-da, that is our event bus created. There is no more to it. Now, we're going to use this bus in both of these components, the footer and the header. So what we need to do is export this and then import it into both of these files. So let's pop export in front of this, save it, and then import it in the header, first of all. So we'll come into the script tag and we'll say import, and it's going to be bus, and it's going to be from, and we need to go up a level because we're currently in the components file uh, folder. So we'll say dot dot forward slash and then it's main.js, but we don't need to put .js, okay? So we've imported it there. We also need to import it into the other file, the footer. So let's add it there as well. Cool. So now we can use the event bus in both of these components. Now, right down here, when we call this change title method, and that happens when we click on the H1, when we call that method, currently we're emitting an event on this component. But instead, what we want to do is emit an event on the bus, the event bus. OK, so let's comment this out first of all, and let's emit an event. We'll say bus dot emit. So instead of this dot emit, it's bus dot emit. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Only this time, we're going to call this event title changed. Yeah. And then we're going to pass some data, much like we did above view wizards. OK. So we're now emitting that event. Now we're going to listen for this event in this footer component, but we're not listening for this event in this component. So we're not going to react to it here. So we're just going to edit the title directly here. So we'll say this dot title is equal to view wizards. Okay. So we're editing it in this component. Then we're using this event bus to emit an event and listen to it in this other component so we can update it there as well. So let's save that. And then down here, we need to listen to that event. Now, when do we listen to that event? Well, we want to listen to it from the point that the component is created. And to do that, we're going to have to use a lifecycle hook. Now, we're going to learn more about lifecycle hooks in the next tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to use it. It's called created. And this fires when the component is first created. OK, so anything in here is going to fire when the component is first created. Now we want to set up our event listener in here on the bus. So we can say bus, which we've imported up here, dot and then dollar sign on. And then the event name we defined over here in the header was title changed. So let's copy that and paste it right in here. And we're listening for that event. OK. Now, when that happens, we want to fire some kind of callback function. Now, I'm going to use an ES6 fat arrow function here. Now, we're going to take the data, which is this thing right here, whatever data we pass through when we emit the event. So we're going to take that data there, and we're going to use a fat arrow function. And this function 
is going to do something and it's going to change the title of this component. So we'll say this dot title is equal to this data which we pass through right here. Okay, because that data was view wizards. So we're changing the title in here now when this event is emitted because we're listening for it. Okay, so now this is going to do exactly the same thing as before, but let's just check. Let's refresh now when we click on this changes this to view wizards and this to view wizards. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now I want to show you one more thing quickly. If we didn't do this, if we didn't change the title directly in this component, if we save it, if we click on this, it's only updating this to view wizards because we're not listening for this event right here as well. We're only listening for this event in here. So that's why we're editing this directly as we emit this event as well. So refresh and this should work again. Cool. So that is the event bus and that is how we can use the event bus to communicate between two kind of sibling components or totally unrelated components, if you like, uh, to change data between them.